electric. Our time goes so quickly. A little over two years ago I made this video and the video was showing the payback calculation, the amount of savings we can get from our solar panels because it got to the one year anniversary of this first array of solar panels, the 14 panels at the bottom. We later upgraded and added some panels onto the top and I've since upgraded again and added some panels on the east gable and also on our garage roof. So lots has changed. But what about that first array and what about our savings? How is it looking so far? So I thought I would do an update video to discuss what the savings look like now because unbelievably the savings have started to reduce and I need to actually explain why that is. So anyway, um, what I'd like to do is go through the same sort of figures that we did two years ago but update them for latest figures right now. This is going to be important for going forward with higher energy costs. But before we start, there's an important thing to say. I'm not treating this as a financial investment, so please bear in mind that I'm not comparing this to a bank account, a building society account, a bonds, stocks and shares, and what else you could do with your money, you know, premium bonds. We're not interested in the return on that. I've spent my money, it's gone. It's on solar panels. What I'm looking for is energy savings, and I'm curious, curious as to when those savings will amount up to the same that I paid for the solar panels in the first place. I'm confident that it will. I'm confident that it works. It's good for me in retirement, keeping my bills really low. I hope you can see that that's the case too and it works for you but use the information that's here apply it to yourself and then you make your decisions but if you're looking for a financial investment and return I really do recommend that you go and have a chat with a financial advisor because this isn't a financial investment this is an investment in green energy in energy savings and protecting yourself from energy rises like we're experiencing right now so how have we been doing with this 3.9 kilowatt array using a Solus 3.6 kilowatt inverter? It cost us four and a half thousand pounds to have it installed. It is on a fit tariff, so the very last fit tariff in the UK before they removed it. So we receive a few pennies for what we generate and then half of what we generate, a few pennies more for the deemed export. It was projected to generate 3,763 kilowatt hours a year. The first year we saw 4,260, but I've updated that. So for 2019, it's actually 4,309. 2020 was 4,540. And 2021 was less, but uh, 3,962 is still more. All three years have been more than what was estimated when we had it installed. But in the three years that we've had it, or it's just over three years now, we've generated a total of 14.2 megawatt hours. That's really phenomenal, averaging 355 kilowatt hours per month, a maximum in the summer of 668 kilowatt hours. That was incredible. And uh, the minimum, which was also equally incredible, was a horrible December last year, and only 52 kilowatt hours. So that gives you the idea of what a 3.9 kilowatt array south facing can generate. So as I said before, we added some more solar panels on top. That's eight more JA solar panels, 300 watt panels this time, connected to a solar edge inverter, 2.4 kilowatts of solar panels. So that's 6.3 kilowatts in total and uh, 5.6 kilowatts in total of inverter power. And don't worry if you're here just for those cost savings, they're coming in just a moment. So what difference does it make having those extra solar panels? Well, in 2020, that was 2,356 extra kilowatt hours, giving us a total of 6,896. And in 2021, an extra 2,588 kilowatt hours, giving us a total of 6,550. That's a total generation of those two arrays so far in just over three years, 18.189 megawatt hours, averaging 505 kilowatt hours a month, 1,050 a megawatt hour, generation in a single month in the summer and the maximum sorry the minimum in the the horrible december winter that we had is now 100 so we've actually doubled having those extra solar panels so i'm really pleased with the difference that it's making it does make good sense on having more solar panels so you get more usable power less grid usage 
but I must confess, having more solar panels doesn't cost justify as much. Most of the savings come from the first array. The second array is more of a luxury, and uh, it is providing more usable power. So, yeah, if you're, all you're interested in is that financial investment, size it right to get your maximum return. But if what you're looking for is to minimise grid usage, and you're looking to be as green as you can, and have as much solar flexible power as you can, then add as many as you can. So I estimated our savings in the first year of generation of just that first array to be £752, as you can see the breakdown here. But that was based on our energy tariff at the time. We were with Bulb Energy, and our tariff was 13.5 pence per kilowatt hour. Since then, I've moved across to the Octopus Energy Agile Tariff, where we paid whatever the wholesale price was in each half-hour segments. And I think that was averaging about 7 to 10, 7 to 11 pence per kilowatt hour at different times during the year. Since then, I've moved again to the Octopus Go Tariff. Now, that's uh, charging me 16 pence per kilowatt hour and 4.5 pence per kilowatt hour just in the early hours of the morning in the cheap rate period. I'm on the Go Faster version. So with my energy tariff being cheaper, my savings are less, aren't they? Because if I didn't have solar panels, I'd be drawing from the grid, and the grid is now cheaper for me. Yes, it goes against the flow. Yes, I timed it well. I've got a really cheap tariff all the way until September 2022. And then, yep, it's going to go up a lot. But I'm not going to mind because I'm using mostly solar energy. I'm not using a lot from the grid. So this is why it makes a lot of sense. It protects you from price rises. So here's those critical numbers. In the three years that we've had those two solar arrays, we have saved in house energy £1,037. Hot water heating, £440. EV charging, £445. And fit payments received on just that first array, £938. In total, £3,137 for three years savings. So it's just over £1,045 per year year on average. So in my last review of the payback period, I estimated that first solar array was going to pay for itself in six years and five months. But now I've added the second array, that has increased to seven years and 11 months. So that's £8,500 worth of costs and an average of £1,045 per year of savings. Finally, there's a few caveats to discuss just so that uh, I'm very, very clear on what I'm presenting here. I have had some uh, home storage batteries on test and I've tried to exclude those savings from these numbers. So I believe these numbers are a good estimate of what I'm saving just with those solar panels. As I said, I've also installed another solar array. So that's going to improve into the future. Again, as I discussed, the energy savings are based on your energy tariff costs. Now, this September, my energy uh, cost is going to go up by at least 70%. So those savings are going to go back up again. In fact, they're going to go really high. So seven years and 11 months, that will probably come down and I'll probably pay back the cost of those solar panels in less time. If you've been following my channel, you probably know that I have been testing heating my home with electricity using portable storage heaters rather than the oil boiler. So I'm also making additional savings now. Yes, uh, I'm including savings for the energy that I'm using for heating this year from solar instead of cheap rate energy from the Octopus Go tariff. But going forward, the price of kerosene for heating the oil boiler is actually going up. So by using solar power, am I making the savings from using electricity with the Go tariff or am I making savings from using kerosene? I'm not quite sure. At the moment, I'm using the lesser of the numbers to try and make these as conservative as possible. Going forward, my savings are going to go up because my heating costs are going to come down. So in a year's time, maybe two years time, I'll do another update on the payback and the savings and that'll include my third solar array and also my home storage battery. Yes, I've installed a new Victron inverter with 18 kilowatt hours or nearly 18 kilowatt hours of usable energy as well. So that's going to be saving me even more money in winter when I'm heating my home using cheap rate energy that I'm storing in the battery overnight and then heating the home during the day. That and the extra solar panels, yep, our energy bills are going to be really, really small. 
Finally, the last thing, don't forget, none of these savings include what I'm saving on petrol or diesel. I moved across in 2018 and got rid of the diesel car and went electric. I've been saving thousands on fuel bills since. So my entire strategy of going electric really is saving thousands of pounds. So I can't hide, of course, that it has cost me £8,500 for those solar panels, even more for the new solar panels I've installed, and a nice few thousand pounds on a home storage battery. So yes, I've spent lots of money, but those things are going to provide me with energy independence. Every time there's a price rise on energy and people are talking about it and worrying about it, I'm not. It's peace of mind. It's comfort. It's being able to say that I'm generating my own energy and using it. I'm not using fossil fuels. This is a really good strategy for the future. It does make sense financially. But is it the best place to invest your money if you want a return? Probably not. So if you're looking for that investment, yep, go and see your financial advisor. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. I hope it does encourage you to go solar or EV or add a home storage battery. They really do make sense. More videos to come, more analysis, more data, more solar, more batteries, and of course, electric car journeys. Take care. See you again soon. Bye for now.